name is Lorna Saunder, I'm a lecturer at City University. The project I will be talking about is Shareville, a simulated reality resource that was designed by Birmingham City University and we have adapted um, for use with our students across all branches of the nursing programme um, in order to help them to learn about the experience of people with learning disabilities. Many of the students found had limited clinical experience and that they found that Shareville helped them to, el to elicit some of the emotions that they could imagine feeling that they would when experience once they go into practice. The scenarios often prompted discussion about values, beliefs and different ways of working um, with this particular client group. Obviously there were some difficulties in producing a resource that met everybody's needs. We have a wide range of both clinical and academic experience amongst our students and some of our more digital native students felt that the resource was a little bit dated. Obviously they have expectations around what a computer resource should look like um, but in, in the main generally they found that even despite the technical issues they felt that um, Shareville was a useful resource to help them just consider how they would work with people people with learning disability. The project team learnt a number of things from the pro project. Um, the first thing really being anticipation um, and that's anticipation of a myriad of, of challenges and difficulties. Many different things need to be, to be considered when delivering a computer package within a classroom. Issues such as making sure that browsers are updated, students have headphones, um, that you have a, a, resort, a room, for example, that can accommodate both discussion, face-to-face -face discussion, um, and also the use of computers. Also, the learning, the learning resource itself needed regular review to make sure that it was faultless, for example, make sure that links aren't broken um, and make sure that pathways through the resource made sense for the student. The second thing that the project team really learnt about um, or learnt from the experience was really how much students value the blended approach. They enjoyed the independence of being able to, to explore a computer resource by themselves but then felt that the, um, the, the, the facilitated discussion helped galvanise ideas, it gave them the opportunity to ask questions um, and it really helped them make sense of the experience that they'd had. At City we are now developing our own resource called Cityscape. Um, the design of this project in some ways is similar using branched videos to allow students to make to practice their decision making. Um, but we're working in partnership with uh, both service and user and carer groups, both in the design of the project and we're hoping to, to work with people who have learning disabilities um, as actors um, within the video resources. We're also hoping to create a more um, diverse resource that really reflects the community that we work with in East London. Um, we're hoping with this collaboration with service users that we will create a positive um, learning experience for the students and development of stereotypes typical beliefs around um, service users with learning disabilities. The HEA has supported the project through the provision of innovative resources via their website. We've also prevent, presented and disseminated information um, at the HEA and this helps to dis disseminate information about the use of simulated reality um, as a teaching methodology.